all the hill leaders and everyone that will be operating the snowmobile with Mad River Ski Patrol, there are a couple of things we have to make sure that you adhere to, and then we're going to show you how to actually operate the snowmobile. Please, all hill leaders, do not have anyone operating the snowmobile unless they have done these things that we're talking about. And every shift should have at least two people designated to operate the snowmobile by the end of next week. First of all, there's a form that the management of Mad River requires every single patroller that will operate the snowmobile to complete. This is the form. We will make it available to you. It must be completed and signed with a copy of your driver's license on file in the office or do not operate the snowmobile. Don't be a clown. Okay. <laughs> now, that said, let's go out to the snowmobile. We will show you what all the buttons are, everything you need to operate. And even if you've done it before, just, you know, just, you know, watch what we're saying. And then also how to hook up the toboggan properly. Okay, let's go. I'm Tim with the Mad River Mountain Ski Patrol. And today we're going to talk about how to operate a Polaris 600 snowmobile. To start with, we have to look at the stop button. And if we're going to run it, we have to pull that stop button up. If the snowmobile's not running, it needs to stay pushed down. So we're gonna pull that up. The other thing of concern is a parking brake. To set the parking brake, you're gonna pull back on it, and then you're gonna flip the lever up, and then slowly release it, and it'll hold the brake in place. You'll wanna do this when you park the snowmobile on the hill. To release it, you just pull the brake. We want to make sure that when it's running, we disengage the parking brake or the burn the brake up. So we got to make sure that's off when we start to run it. There's a start button over here, and that has to stay in the run position. Most of these snowmobiles no longer have the electric start, so that has to stay in the run position before we actually start it. The other thing we need to do is we're going to take some quick pulls on this. This one doesn't actually have a choke, so we don't have to worry about choking it before we go. And we want to make sure that we're not on this side of it because the rope will burn the uh, ring up here and it'll actually fray the rope as well. So we need to make sure that we're not fraying our rope. So when we go to start it, we need to be on the correct side of the snowmobile and then do quick jerks. That's how you start it. That will stop it. So if we're going to run the snowmobile, if we're on the hill, it needs to be off when we're on patience. We never let a snowmobile idle. It's hard on the machine. And if a skier would come up and bump something, it could take off on us as well. So that's how you're going to start it. Next, we're going to talk about how to put on a sled on the back of the snowmobile. So in order to hook the, the sled up to the back of the snowmobile, We've got a plate here that's got a hole drilled in it. We're going to slide it up, and then it's got a pin that you slide between the both holes, and it's got a safety catch as well. So when it pins, it'll go in and latch. The other thing we need to worry about is a backup chain. So if this would happen to fail, we've got something still connected to the snowmobile. So we've got a safety chain here that we're just going to wrap around the frame of the snowmobile and then we'll hook it into, it's not quite a carabiner, but it's rated to hold the snowmobile on with the uh, sled here. And we have special sleds that pull behind the snowmobile, so you just don't want to put any sled behind it so it uh, won't catch the edges. The only person that's allowed to be on the snowmobile is the operator. The operator is not allowed to have a passenger on the back of the snowmobile or a patient. So the only one sitting on the seat should be the operator. The only way you can take a second person to a scene would to have the ski patroller ride in the sled on the way there, but they'd either have to walk back or uh, have the ski sit next to them. So operator only and patients or a patroller in the sled. The next thing we're going to do is have Chet talk about the Polaris 550 and a few minor differences. Hi, I'm Chet with uh, Mad River Ski Patrol. 
Uh, Tim already explained to you the operations of the Polaris 600. Uh, occasionally we'll get a different uh, snowmobile, so I'm just here to show you. This is an example of the 550. Uh, very similar to the 600 that Tim already showed you. Uh, the only primary difference is this one has a choke. So with the choke operations, there's a, a label here that says the off position, the half choke, the full choke. If the snowmobile is cold, we'll generally try with about a half choke. Uh, to put in a half choke position, you lift the throttle up, and then you'll pull one or two times and the, and the machine should start. So the choke is that half choke on this particular model. I am pulling like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's you flooded it. I flooded it. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you a couple of pointers uh, regarding our local protocol here for safe driving. As we take the snowmobile out on the hill, we want to make sure that we're a small target. We want to be able to drive up along the snow gun lines as we go up to the top of the hill. Uh, generally, if we're taking it out, we go up on uh, Valley View where it's uh, less steep and then maybe come down the other hills. Uh, if we have to turn around the snowmobile on a hill, our protocol is to take it to the top of the hill, turn around, come back down to the patient. Uh, we do not want to be turning around the snowmobile in the middle of the hill on the steep edge uh, for fear that the snowmobile will tip over. Uh, as far as parking the snowmobile near the scene, we want to be parking the snowmobile facing downhill or slightly toward the, the edge. So remember, when you're uh, picking up a patient, hit the kill switch. Do not leave the snowmobile idled. Uh, other than that, be safe and happy snowmobiling.